Good morning YouTube, welcome back to my channel. Today I just wanted to share with you one of my favorite little orchids, especially one of my favorite little orchids now that I've managed to get it to bloom. This is my Neophanita falcata, and it is blooming very nicely for me here. I just wanted to bring it down from this hangy hook and um, give you some sort of care tips for it and tips on how I got it to bloom and hopefully you can get yours to bloom as well. This year it has come out with five spikes I believe so it's looking really nice um, I wanted to show it to you first here hanging because the flowers are facing straight out now because they're hanging um, once we bring it down to the table and have a better look at it there uh, the flowers are not going to be quite so straight looking on this guy so why don't we bring it down a little closer though and then we can have a good look at it All right, so bring it down a little bit closer. You can see a close-up of the flowers. Very nice little guys here. Um, once they're open for a few days, the petals do definitely curl back a little bit, which was a little bit unexpected. Um, in all the photos, I seem to remember them being kind of flat out, but I've been told that that's normal and um, it's doing what it's supposed to do. The smell of this guy is absolutely amazing. It is a thick, thick coconut smell. It reminds me of that really old school copper tone suntan lotion that is just like the thick pasty stuff that just smells like nothing but coconut. It smells so good. Um, it smells really strong in the morning, really strong in the evening, and it smells okay in the daytime. Um, yeah, and let's see, what else can I tell you about this guy now? I have it hanging on a hook, so it was in the basket for the longest time, and I decided to hang it up just like you saw it, and that's mainly for drainage purposes. Make sure that no water gets in the crown. I've had this guy for two full years now. So this is sort of the third spring. And so this was the year that it um, decided to really take off for me. Um, it's in a net pot, again, for sort of aeration. Lots of air to the roots. And I did try to stick to the sort of normal care routine for these guys as well. Where in the wintertime, I pretty much let it dry out. I give it very little water. Here in the greenhouse, it gets cooler temperatures in the wintertime and almost gives it a dry rest. Now, I don't tell them dry it out like a dendrobium. If um, I'm passing by with the water, I do give it a little bit of a, a splash or spray. I don't follow the, the dry rest like I do the dendrobiums. What else? It did, um, it's grown multiple fans. It's always growing nicely for me every year. Uh, the roots grow really nice and long. They grow through the basket. So that's another nice reason to have it in the basket. Once spring comes and the weather starts to warm up, I try to never allow it to dry out completely. Right now it's just sort of a, a very light moist, definitely not wet. Um, you'd be hard pressed to, to get your finger wet in the media. And that's just where I like to keep it. But I do water it frequently. And this year I, I started watering it with lots and lots of fertilizer. So. I, I just gave it um, the miracle Grow tomato fertilizer. It has a micronutrients in. I've given it seaweed uh, fertilizer, and I've given it fish fertilizer. And I do that frequently. Once a week, it's getting one or more of those um, those fertilizers there, and it just seems to be really, um, really paying off for it. Let's see if I can get a different view here. All right, there's a different shot of it there. So... What else can I tell you? Oh, not only is it hanging, it's hanging sort of in a sunny, dappled, shady spot. It's not in direct sun at all. Um, it gets a bit of morning sun, and then it's sort of shaded by the shelf above for the afternoon. Um, as the sun goes past, it, it starts to get brighter again about 3 o'clock, and then has a couple hours of, of brighter shade again. But I have kept it quite shaded this year. Um, I was also told that the um, spikes develop very, very slowly. Let me focus in on a spike here. There's a couple spikes coming out. So you can see um, one is just a little bit less developed than the other. Now, I was told these spikes develop very slowly from like winter time, and you have to baby them for six months till June. Now, honestly, these things, they came out so fast. I noticed the first spike when it was about this big, which is now in bloom, last month. And these guys, I did sort of see them coming out just at the time, but they were so tiny I couldn't tell if it was a spike or another um, fan of, of foliage. And within a month, they're like this. And within another month, they're um, full-size flowers. So I don't think the spikes take very long to develop at all. 
But there we go. If you'd like a nice smelling orchid that stays small, these guys may be the orchid for you. Very beautiful. Really happy with this. And I hope it continues to bloom like this now year after year since I have it going. Anyways, I hope you liked this video. I hope you got a few care tips for your Neofinita. And if you want to see more videos like this, make sure you subscribe to my channel. As always, thanks for watching.